Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm gonna play uh, New Vegas this time. I'm gonna have a twist, though. It's gonna be, like, heavily modded. The graphics of it. I think, I think it's gonna be fun. Anyways, right now I might mute this first section. Because it contains music and I don't want to get, like, copyright strained. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
All right, that's over. All right, one of my mods. Yeah, this will look You're a lot awake. different. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Mm, what should my name be? Courier 6. I think that sounds good. I can't say it's what I'd have picked. One second, I'm gonna put the subtitles and just change how this looks a little. So it's easier to follow. I think that's it. Okay. Pick for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? One second. I think that's too low of audio. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Alright, I'm not just a man. And another one of my mods. Like a okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your I feet. I think my face is gonna look a little weird then. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Uh, how do I look? Do I have no eyebrows? No, I do. Yeah. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. I just like how this this game looks now. Although it might cause some frame rate issues at times. Let's see. Seven? Yeah. Six? Six again, maybe? Charisma can stay at five. Intelligence may be down. Agility down, I guess. Luck down. What should I? Eight strength, maybe. Seven perception. Then I'll just go to this end one and just pick the rest. Okay, what looks low? I'll put my intelligence up. Uh, I guess agility? That looks okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Surprised anybody would want to tangle with you. Heck, you could go deathclaw hunting with a switch. Well, we know your vitals are good. 
But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a bighorn and drop it. Gun case. Oh. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dog is still barking. Mods. Well, not my mod. The mod I have on this. On the safe game. Right. Now, this part of it. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dinner. House. Investment. Night. Silencer. Bandit. Stab. Light. Dark. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. No, I want to fight everything in this game. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Sure, why not? Agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I don't understand this section. It's kind of pointless. An oozing wound. Ooh -hoo. Okay. How about this one? A ship at sea. I don't see that, but okay. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Medicine, uh, uh, no silence. Let's do speech instead. Medicine, no. Let's do... Guns. And the other one... Barter. Yeah. Looks good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. What's this? Oh, okay. Wild Wasteland? Which is this? And, uh... Let's uh, let's see. I think four eyes, actually. Because if I have no eyebrows, I might as well wear glasses. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll Fine. see you out. I am just hoping I do not crash. Because I don't know if this recording will save. Nice, why not? Here. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> Hardcore mode. No, because it's recommended to say no. Oh!
What? Uh. Okay. All right, bye guys. I'm gonna stop the video. It's ending. Bye. Why are you still here? The video is ending. Now, I will play some creepy music to get you to leave. <laughs> so I was uh, just playing around. All I did was just take out the mod. It's better to have something that works. Get out of here. Without a crash, hopefully. Oh, it's just ruined it. This this just looks amazing. Do the main quest and try to do like as little dialogue as possible just to progress into this video. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. Alright, let's see what, what's in these boxes. Again, sorry for having to uh, stop the stop it real quick. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the ready. Try crouching. Up. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Yes, I did. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Why don't I not come along? Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. No I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Mm, I'm just gonna go in there to meet the powder gangers and shoot them eventually. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hey. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best <laughs> idea. 
was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Let's see, uh, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. What else do I say? Never mind, I want to talk about something else. All right. Uh, goodbye. Be careful out there. Yeah, I'll do this now. I'll go to uh, Ringo. Easy Pete. I want to shoot you, but I can't. I hate Easy Pete so hard, so much. I was about to say hard. He's not hard Pete. He's Easy Pete. And he's definitely not medium Pete. Extreme Pete doesn't even exist because I killed him. This is where Ringo's at. Let me just do one of these things. Alright. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? <laughs> I don't want to play that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Do you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Yes, you can. I <laughs> just kidding, you probably can't. Do I just say goodbye, or is there something... Okay. What are you gonna do about the Powder Gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. No, we won't. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You don't think I can handle myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay. Let's go out. Talk with Sunny Smiles about fighting the Powder Gangers. Next to very easy Pete, who I will who I will never talk about in this in this series. I'm not even gonna press E to talk with him. No, he's irrelevant. Hey there. So talk to Sunday Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to need help, Ringo. I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. No. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, goodbye. I'll be waiting. I just need to talk to Trudy and Doc Mitchell. I don't care about anything else. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You should help me take on the powder gun. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. No, you don't. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Oh, this is too much talking. I just keep saying goodbye. 
Let me do another one of these saves. Just in case I crash. So, I'm just gonna talk to Doc Mitchell now and go to Ringo. Please don't crash. Very nice. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Goodbye. You take care now. Time to find, I guess. This is where the fun begins. Hold up. Let me uh, organize this. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. I hope. <laughs> Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. They will. Don't worry. So, I keep saving. I just keep sprinting with this mod. It's kind of useful. This is a good spot to save once again. Save. And I'm gonna shoot this at them. way out in the open. Whoa, whoa, careful. Not my problem. I just killed a bunch of Not my people. problem. Oh, that's a shotgun. How is that not a headshot? this running? What? How, how aren't you dead? I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. All right, this is good. What should I bring? Let's do guns. 
been a little bit of on speech. Swift learner, this one's always good. Go this way to uh, Prim. Uh, where is it? They want it that way. Then I'll do a save. I think I have like 80 hours in this game, plus whatever I had on my Xbox One. So, needless to say, I've played a lot of this for like three years so far. I, I picked up this game on the Xbox One in uh, 2017. So, I got some basics down, and I just love playing this modded. Just, it, it looks better. Oh. Oh. nothing. Travel onward. Oh, and if you see this uh, black flashing, it's not a big deal. It's uh, this lighting mod changing some settings each time it goes into a menu. I don't save way too much. This. Okay, I need a different gun. What is this? Oh, this one has a laser. go this way. Oh, let me know if you're interested in me playing DLC or like some some separate mods in uh, this Hey, series. where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. This is the lagging out I was talking about. I don't know if you saw that because I am I am like uh I'm playing this game at 60 frames per second and it's uh, recording at 30 frames per second. So you might not see all the lag dips that I see. I'm not gonna talk to these people. I'm just gonna go straight to the, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna go straight to the Bison Steve.
how I go in this. I'm gonna get a quick save then. Just go in. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh, it didn't crash. Look at that. You like that? I'm hit! Just stood in place to be careful. They died. Where's the other guy? Escape convict leader. He doesn't even fight me because he died. This is sad. I can literally just take this and leave. But... I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Are you? Well, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. I'll set you free. Oh, right? that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. See you outside. I'm not gonna talk to him, because I can just keep going straight on. In fact, I think I'm gonna end this video in Nipton. This is most unusual. The Powder Gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak, where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Okay. Now we can move on. Courier 6. Now what I'm gonna do because I lose my sprint stamina, stamina so fast is I'm gonna switch. Do I not have that ability? Oh, I cannot. I'm not able to switch the amount of AP it drains. Kind of sucks. Because I have a separate mod that lets me drain less action points on the bottom right. But I guess I didn't download it this time. Can get the garment? enemies.
I like this uh, scenery. It just looks nice. Apart from like those mountains. And I like this mod that just like lets me see uh, my body. Just it makes it more realistic. Feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah. Are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure, but not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> time for me to go. <laughs> Later. Fast travel. You can use fast travel map to discover locations. Okay. I'm gonna talk with these people and uh, end the video. Oh, where'd they go? <laughs> I might debate to kill them in the next episode as they walk away. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. I'll do as you ask. <laughs> then I bid you Wale. Until we meet again. Alrighty then. So, <laughs> alright, I'm gonna close out this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, like, uh, if you like this video, why not just like it and share it? I guess. This is awkward now. <laughs> <laughs>